what you just heard was a tremolo effect stacked on top of a hard diet clipping distortion effect that I showed in my previous video, both completely implemented in software on the Arduino Giga R1. The tremolo effect is a very simple effect that basically shapes the incoming audio's envelope by another waveform that's generated by a low frequency oscillator shown in the top left corner of this block diagram. Three parameters describe the behavior of the tremolo effect. One is the frequency of the low frequency oscillator. The second is the waveform shape of the low frequency oscillator. The most common modulating waveforms are the sine wave, a triangle wave and a square wave. The third effect parameter is the modulation depth. This variable basically controls how much of the incoming signal actually gets affected by the LFO signal. This time I added a little op-amp based preamplifier to my setup because the output voltage level of my guitar is rather low and to make optimal use of the available dynamic range I included an MC4558 op-amp which also adds a 1.65 volt offset voltage to center the incoming signal around the ADC midpoint. The actual implementation of the tremolo effect in software is extremely simple. The function takes the input sample and then two parameters which are the LFO frequency and the modulation depth. I elected to only implement a sine wave waveform for the LFO, but adding other waveforms is easily possible. As always, the entire Arduino code can be found on my blog, the links in the video description. The next clip is going to show what this effect sounds like without any distortion layered on top of it. The effect parameters are a 99% modulation depth and an LFO frequency of 5 hurts. And here's an example with the same tremolo settings, but a little bit of distortion or rather overdrive layered on top of it. The last clip I'm going to show as the outro to this video is again using the same tremolo settings and a moderate level of distortion. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you're interested in how to implement distortion effects, just follow the link in the video description to my previous video. See you next time.